far we've finished tube one. Starting on tube two, working our way toward the middle. How are the voids underneath the, the tunnel? One foot, three foot. With a larger amount of void in a time-sensitive situation, additional Eurotech ICR affiliates are called in from around Texas to assist in void filling the attics and Barker outlets. With two Eurotech teams void filling two conduits at the same time, the void filling process becomes more efficient, an asset to the core's goal to completion. The patented Eurotech polymer expands and it is at 90% strength in less than 5 minutes, so when outcropping occurs in flowing water, the material will set up inside the outcropped hole quickly wasting little material and creating little debris for landfill. The little material that is carried out by the current is easily captured with floating buoys. Even though the polymer is environmentally inert, the worksite is kept clean. We set a couple of booms across the channel. There's no flow, very little flow coming out of this, this uh, set of gates. We put two booms across just to catch the floating foam. They're not going to be opening the gates until after work on Friday and we'll just move the booms and roll it in towards the shore to pick it up. Shouldn't have any spillage over into the uh, waterway downstream. Alright, we've got to cover this seam right here, seal this seam. We've got it coming out, we came out right here, we've got water coming up, you can see the water. So we're hoping any minute it's going to come out. The shoot is about what, 10? Yeah. 10 feet, 10 or 12 feet. 10 feet back? All right. 12 feet back and it's traveling down the floor, down the wall. We had water earlier. Shooting out of that. Water shot out, out, but then it stopped. As soon as it shot out, it stopped. All right. As Eurotech polymer is injected under the conduit, it aggressively seeks out void spaces and begins to tighten up the surrounding soils, bonding the strata together to increase the collective load-bearing capacity to support the structure above. The polymer quickly expands up to 15 times its liquid volume and is at 90% strength in less than 5 minutes. As voids are filled below the weakened structure, the polymer will travel vertically, filling voids along the side walls, restoring the entire structure's subbase, providing superior stabilization to the conduits and drastically reducing the chances of outlet failure. Army geotechnical engineers gather soil samples to determine the condition of the base soil that the conduit was built on. Samples taken on previous injection locations showed Eurotech polymer was present under the conduit and was filling the voids and densifying soils. As Eurotech crews wrap up the first round of void filling that took less than a week, the job is far from over. The Barker Outlet Station Attic's mirror sister has the same void concerns and requires the same treatment to restore the integrity of the subbase. Of what you're doing as far as stabilizing this thing to ensure the safety downstream there? Safety, yeah, they said if we don't, that uh, old President Bush house have water in the front door. He really? Like the old man Bush, he wouldn't like that. Yeah. The following week, Eurotech crews begin drilling the initial injection holes through the Barker concrete conduits. Like attics, both were built in the 40s and have been modified through the decades to support the growing demands of the city of Houston. Initial geotechnical investigation showed smaller but considerable sized void spaces below the conduit. During construction of the spillway, investigatory access ports 5 inches in diameter are routinely used to check the subbase as voids under the spillway slope are also a concern. As Eurotech crews began void filling, Palmer began to seek out weak soil pockets and void spaces, occasionally traveling vertically along the joints between the conduits. Material also followed void paths under the spillway slope as well, with a surprise appearance through one of the investigatory access ports, pushing loose soil and expanding through the hole. Outcropping. Our sheet about, about 13 feet away, pushed up about 8 inches of mud, and then 
all that material was hard when it came out, so it's under a lot of pressure. Yeah, we wanted to find all the weak spaces underneath, all the voids, follow the path of least resistance, and fill this, this cavity up underneath there and stabilize this entire structure. With the Houston heat starting to sliver in, crews take a quick breather. As Eurotech crews wrap up the initial void fill phase at the Barker Outlet location, optimistic signs such as more outcropping and tightening of the loose soil from under the conduit show big progress has been made to stabilize and fill the voids under the outlet structure. The Corps continues to monitor both outlet structures as Eurotech works at the Barker location. The Corps opens the gates to the Attic's outlet station to continue relieving the Attic's reservoir of high water an efficient plan that will pay off in case of an all too common heavy sustained rain that can cause another rise in floodwater that can threaten the city.